Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we've got a beer from my local craft beer brewery and Time and Tide, and this is their Little Urchin New England style IPA. Coming at 6.9% ABV, 15 IBUs. It's brewed with Pilsner, this is the malts, Pilsner, Maris, Otter, Flaked Oats and Flaked Wheat. The hops are Equinot and Laurel, and the yeast is New England. Yeah, 6.9% ABV, 15 IBUs, original gravity 66, FG14, EBC8, for you home brewers out there. Um, ingredients, as I've said, water, barley, oats, hops, yeast. Uh, 440ml can, best before 14th of September of 2019. These guys, as you probably already know, are out of Kent, East Kent, and um, Deal in East Kent. Timeandtidebrewing.co.uk is the website. And yeah, one of their kind of new new beers. Um, they've done a just done a re kind of branding and stuff. So that kind of like whatever that is is their new branding. So there you go. And there's that old kind of style. We see it when the beer's in it, but yeah. The teku that they kindly brought for, round for me last year. I've had a couple of cans. You may have seen them fairly recently. Um, I reviewed those the back end of last year. So here we are, the end of January. I've got this and I've got another one to come after this as well. But yeah, I've seen this all around and I thought, oh, I'd like to try that. So I purchased this at Moonshine Billy's in Ramsgate. So there's the old kind of style label in this Teku. So we've got in a beer and a glass then. It's kind of a, yeah, nice, light, vibrant kind of lemony, kind of light orange, I suppose. Not much of a head. It's going down about half a finger of pure white head. It's getting aroma. I'm getting a kind of a, a nice vibrant lemony kind of aroma. Slightly dry, more of a kind of a yeah, melon. Trying to think of the fruits. <sighs> Almost like um, lemon drops. Delicate kind of aroma for the ABV of that as well. 6.9, there's none trace on that in the aroma, which is cool. A very light, delicate beer. So let's give it a taste and see what we get on this one. Cheers. Yeah, very delicate. Very soft. Nice kind of lemon, citrus kind of ramping up at the back. 15 IBUs is really low, even for this style. Definitely more sweet than better, of course. Wow, you'd never think that is a 6.9% beer. Very fluffy, light. Body-wise, it's like a low end of a medium. But super tangy. Super, you know, that tropical fruit notes. Apricots. Maybe a bit of... Um, very sweet though. There is a slight. Let me just have another mouthful. Very juicy. Juicy lemon, citrusiness, slightly dry, a little bit earthy, but very delicate, slightly almost chalky. But yeah, it's very light and fluffy kind of body to the beer. Wow. Nice creamy half finger of white head again for the, the last bit of the can. Mm. Grapefruit. 
melon, white grape, nice citrusy tone but not too sh that sharpness, very smooth almost, slightly chalky but Wow, that is. There's a nice sweet spot coming through about mid palate. Just got it then. Slight kind of that lime, sorry, lime, lemon acidity. You get that sharpness, but not overly powering. It's, it's, a, it's a mixture between sweet and, and, and that sour um, lemon kind of thing going on, that, you know, that puckeringness, but very small. Apart from that, it's just super smooth. Mouthfeel is pretty damn amazing. Wow, okay. That is a very pleasant beer indeed. Um, I think it, was, it cost me four, £4.99. Um, you probably, you might be able to get it cheaper online. I, I don't know, but that's what I pay for this can. Um, I've not had it before, and I've seen it on various places. I've had it got on tap locally, but there you go. Can't always get to these places. Um, keep cold drink fresh. Bloody bloody blah. There's not other information here. Um, got the ingredients in various different languages on the back: Swedish, French, Norwegian, uh, Finland. Spain, Portugal, and Italian, and Italy even. Yeah, so in terms of a rating then, um, I actually really like this. I'm going to give this... Hmm, I'll give this an 8, an 8 out of 10. I think it's uh, a, another solid beer from, from Time and Tide. Um, I, I, this is my third one of the rebranding. I've got another one to, to to review downstairs. I've been really impressed. Um, I think I, there, there was people chattering sort of locally, um, beginning of 2018, about where the brewery was going, and they've definitely moved forward. They're doing a lot more kind of like barrel age stuff, and yeah, this is a, another great great beer for sure. Um, so yeah, 8 out of 10, 4 out of 5 on the untapped scale, over to untapped then, it's not had a lot. Um, this was added to untapped on the 15th of December, so it's a fairly new beer, 15th of December of 2018 it's been on there. Uh, 84 check-ins, 38 in the last 30 days, so as you'd expect, and 77 ratings coming in at 3.88, yeah. Um, go with that I suppose over over that many people 77 people not a lot but yeah I'm giving this a four um, definitely worth picking up if you're in the Fanet area they could be online I'm not too sure but check out the brewery they've got a website where you can order stuff online I'll put all the links down below as well as my time and tide playlist that goes back well, a fair few years so anyway thanks for watching let me know if you've had that one before the little urchin their new england style ipa 6.9 percent abv thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next review hopefully cheers <laughs>